Yeah, this is crazy. What's that saying about color options? The bike's beautiful and the ride was just amazing. Buongiorno, we are in Milan, Italy. We're here to take you guys to the ICMA show. It's gonna be a really fun time. This is a great event. This is the biggest motorcycle show in the world. You guys are really gonna enjoy this. I can't wait for you guys to tag along. So here we go. All right, guys, we brought a homie. Introduce yourself, man. Uh, my name is Justin Benson. Uh, I'm from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Hey. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, you know, why, why are you here, man? Uh, I'm out here because I got the call from BMW to uh, yeah <laughs> to be part of this amazingness. So uh, you got you got the call. They're right at Top Secret Motorcycle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've yeah. heard that story yeah. before. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but we definitely have some things in common. Like, grew up in the garage with our dads around bikes. We're total bike nerds, you yeah. know. And now we get to be the lucky ones to be here. We got to ride motorcycles. Now we get to be part of this awesome fair. Edgar invited me out, which you'll meet him inside. Total fanboy moment because this is like, this is the biggest yeah, motorcycle this fair is the show, in yeah. the world. You know, also get to be fun, get to break the third wall. So I've been hearing about this third yeah, wall. Yeah, it's pretty fun. So you get to talk to the camera, you get to touch the camera. I'm going to leave those responsibilities up to you for today. Yep. All right, let's go check it out, guys. This place is massive. Yeah, it's gnarly. BMW did promise us uh, to, we were going to ride bikes, but this isn't exactly what we had in mind. Get like a, get like a TV screen. <laughs> Here we go. Sure. Two out of ten. Oh. Did you beat me? <laughs> eight out of eight? My rubber band racing skills are vastly yeah, yeah. improving. I'm timing out. <laughs> <laughs> Going out with a bang. <laughs> I like, how, I like how it's kind of got the, the boxer motor feel. Yeah, yeah, She's a looker. I bet this thing rips. This one has a computer screen. This has got a computer screen and a windshield. You already said that, <laughs> but you're not wrong. I don't know anything about this bike, but it looks fast and comfortable. Oh, here it is. What do you think? Yeah, I think that it's... Uh, Incredible. So it's something that you would ride? Of course. Cool. Totally, totally. So uh, what do you think of the bike? Ah, oh, it's sweet. Yeah, it's awesome. So something you would ride? Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you ride BMWs? And... Soon. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> nice. That's nice. what you... Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Had you seen this bike before the show? Just in video. What would you think when you saw the videos? Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Think they'll let you sit on it? Uh, there's only one way to find out. Go for it. <laughs> Just, just stepping over. Yeah, no big deal. <laughs> Photo Dude, up. Yeah, this Photo is up. crazy. I can't believe how different this feels than the Slash 2. Right? The yeah. solo seat? Yeah, it's wild. This is this looks good on me. It's, it suits you. Uh, yeah. Think you could get a photo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Killing it. It's like I was born to do this. Right, right. <laughs> it was in, it was in, uh, well, technically I don't even know what. Hey, oh, guys. Look who it hey. is. Good to see you, good buddy. To see you. Good. Hey Justin, good to see you. You too. What's it what's it like for you now having having the slash two out versus you know the original concept? I mean it's super interesting. I mean yeah. people are really reacting on this one now because that's kind of a, a step ahead yeah. from this one. Yeah. That was a big bus obviously. But this is even uh, pushing the envelope a little bit more. Yeah, it's crazy. It's like it's how same engine yeah. but completely different bikes. So you haven't seen the bike, right? No, this is the first time in real life. So oh. yeah. Pretty wild. I like it. Yeah, yeah. It's, in, it's incredible. All right, so I have a question. Obviously, R18 concept, black and white. Justin's bike. My bike's red. Yeah. His bike's black. Yeah. So what's what's that saying about color options? Guys, so I want to introduce you guys to Shinya Kimura. Yeah. Shinya, hi. Good to see you. Hi, nice to see you. Actually. You heard this, I'm very sure yeah. you heard his name. Yeah, definitely. He's, oh, yeah. At least to me, he's part of the <laughs> godfather of customizing. Really uh, mind opening. Thank you very much. So good to have you here. Really yeah. appreciate. Yeah. Do you like how you can kind of see the older style BMWs 
in a basically a 2019 or you know 2020 bike yeah i always have great respect for bmw product product since i was uh, young yeah yeah i restored the r69 s and the r50 fun so very uh, my familiar that kind of design so that kind of pulls at your heartstrings a little bit huh yeah <laughs> so Shinya, we have to run we have to meet another okay. person yeah uh, good seeing you here thank we you. meet anyway the next day yeah so nice to meet you again okay see you. it's a Thanks pleasure and an honor nice thank you so much you. see you soon yeah good to meet you yeah it's really nice meeting you thank you so much uh so I know everybody has a lot of questions about the R18-2. Um, I've been fortunate enough to ride it, but uh, can you kick us some details that uh, from your end that you know? You know, you've seen the, the color code, which is very yep. different, of course, yeah, from, the, night and day. from the R18, like from candy the first apple one. Red. And like we said, that was intentionally done to give it this more of the uh, expressive and rough and a little bit of a mean character, the yeah. performance character. It, performance as it is, it's yeah. very aggressive looking and very yeah. tough. And that's what I, I was really digging it. And you have these uh, radial mounted calipers. Yep. I, I like it and I mean, I know both of us can relate, getting to see the fairing kind of yeah. wrapped around those that, bars. Yeah. Unbelievable. And then yeah. cast wheels. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's very nice to see and it's quite overwhelming actually, yeah. Yeah. how people react on these bikes. And everybody's asking, so when can we see the second concept? You yeah. Know? So you've so. been you've been paying attention to the comments and seeing what people are saying, huh? Of course we do. Yeah. Of course we do. I've been kind of watching them as they kind of like come through, and this guy asked, he's like, you know, I'm about six six, and he feels like he's going to be too tall to ride the bike because of the seating position. If if you can sit on a on a normal sports, so let's put it this sure. way, you would be able to sit on a flat twin as well. Sure. Should be the same. All right, guys. So we are taking the questions that you guys are leaving on YouTube and on Instagram and we are taking it you know back to guys like Edgar so please you know leave the comments leave the questions we definitely want to read it we're following along you know and we're trying to get you guys all the answers that you're looking for and Edgar Edgar here will personally yeah, answer them for you now we're away from the big wigs over at the booth <laughs> I gotta know man when's the bike coming out when's the R18 uh, coming out this is a question that I have been chasing since episode one. And I mean, I wanna know too. We will find a way. We will get the answers that we are looking for. It's my vow that I'll, I'll find out when this bike is actually gonna come, you know, full circle and he's, be released. He's gonna be the first one to, to know, so <laughs> bug this guy. <laughs> How are you? Nice to you. Pleasure. Nice to see you in a bit. Gentlemen, thank you. Nice head, by the way. <laughs> thank you. I bet you're wondering, what is this guy doing here? Well, we're at a presentation for a few hundred people at the BMW booth, and guess what? Tommy's in the hot seat. So let's take a look and see how he's doing. Was just an experience. Once they rolled it kind of out of the back of the truck, you knew it was going to be a really special event. And, uh, you know, the bike's beautiful, and the ride was just amazing. Well, Tommy, I had a blast today, but it's time for me to hit the dusty trail and go make snow angels back in Canada. That sounds quite peaceful, man. I'm not gonna lie. It's, uh, it was it was an interesting day. I'm glad you uh, did some of the heavy lifting for me, and uh, you know, got to really interact with the camera. Hopefully, Hopefully it won't be the last time. <laughs> for real, right? All right, man. We're back where it all started. Truly, truly, man. It was cool. Super great to meet you, man. Great meeting you, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> Let's do it. I'll let you take over to do the sign off. Justin and Tommy signing out for Mike Ma. So obviously this is episode four. Uh, episode three, we were at Barber. Peter had invited us out to his personal collection or museum. Yes, I have a BMW specific museum okay. in Long Island, New York, and uh, you should come and visit me sometime. I'll take you up on that deal. Plenty there. Right. Deal. Terrific. So we're gonna be taking you guys to meet Peter again uh, stateside in Long Island. So I hope you guys join us for that next episode. If you haven't signed up for the newsletter, I don't know what you're waiting for. Sign up, join the newsletter. You're gonna be able to see these episodes first before anybody else. I gotta say, having a kind of a surreal experience yesterday, having people come up to me throughout the show and wanting to take selfie photos with me during the show because they got to see the videos and they got to see you know some of the episodes that we've already that we've already filmed together. And it's just like, wait. How? Why? But um, it's just one of those really fun moments. 
I have a lot of work I got to do. So I'm, even though this has been a surreal experience being here in Italy with, with the team, I still have to go home. I have to take a nap. I'm going to cuddle my dog. And then I'm going to go back to work. So food for the road. Signing off from Italy. <laughs>